Hey guys, good morning. I'm Kashmi Bal, working as a lecturer and teacher's trainer for Spoken English. Today, we are uh, going to discuss something very important. And this important thing is concerned with all those people, with, us, with, all, with, with all those students, with all those candidates who are eager to learn Spoken English. So this would be very interesting for you today. So, before going to start, I suggest you to kindly subscribe this YouTube channel so that you could get the interesting videos and information all the time. Okay, so we have only five points to discuss which are very useful to improve spoken English. Now listen, one thing, spoken English is not only the name of speaking only. It does not mean that. Actually, it means on the basis of these five points that I'm going to describe with you people. So let's have the discussion to be started. Point number one, thinking. Number two, creativity. Number three, manners. Number four, situation. And number five, vocabulary. So these are the five basic foundation to develop spoken English skills, the best spoken English skills. So, point number one, if I highlight point number one thinking, then we can say that, now listen, when we speak in our native language, in our local language, whatever we are, if we are Pakistani, we are Indian, we are Sri Lankan, we are Bangladesh, whatever we are. So if we try to speak our native language, what we do? We try to speak continuously because our brain is thinking in our native language. So simple, what you have to do? You have to think in English. Just change your thinking style, change your thinking pattern. Start thinking in English. When you start thinking in English, definitely you'll be able to speak in English. So keep in your mind that if you change your thinking, it will definitely reflect your best spoken skills. Point number two, creativity. Now what is creativity? Creativity means to create something new, to bring something new, to produce something new. Always try to be eager, always try to keen on working, always try to do creativity, whatever you do. And when it is a matter of spoken English, try to create something new. Put yourself in any situation and try to create some ideas, try to think something new. So this creativity will bring best spoken, sing, uh, best spoken English skills among you. So point number three, the most important, manners. English is not only the name of speaking only. English doesn't mean to speak English. English means to show the respect. English means to have the respect for someone. Show your respect in your speaking. For example, if I am doing lunch with my family, with my parents, and I have some urgent thing to do, and I have to leave the lunch, so when I will leave the lunch, what I will say, excuse me, it means I am using the manners. So manners are the important part of spoken English. You have to work on it. Point number four, situation. Now this is the key. We have different situation all the time in our daily life. Wherever we are, if we are, for example, if we are going to market, if we are going to any shop, if we are going to anyone's home, if we are going to any place, if we are going to play something, if, you, if we want to do something, on any situation. So we speak in our native language according to that situation. We put ourselves in that situation when we want to speak something. Same like that, you have to put yourself in a situation where you have to speak English. Just try to create ideas in your mind according to that situation. Put yourself, merge yourself, dip yourself into that situation. This will bring the best speaking skill among you, I'm sure. And point number five, the last one, vocabulary. Very simple definition, collection of words is called vocabulary. But according to spoken English perspective, vocabulary comes from practice only. It does not come from uh, the reading books. It does not come from getting the words from English newspaper. No. It does not word. It, it, it does not bring words among you by watching some movies. No. Vocabulary comes from practice. Practice, practice, practice. 
this will bring the best vocabulary among you and one thing for you people guys that uh, if your vocabulary doesn't mean to speak some kind of difficult words vocabulary means very simple words for example if I say that uh, he's a boy now listen what is vocabulary according to me according to me your vocabulary is he is a boy every single English word is considered is contemplated is understood as vocabulary so vocabulary comes from practice and you have to do a lot of practice all the time put yourself on the track of learning always in this way you can improve your vocabulary now listen when you improve your vocabulary it means you are using the vocabulary according to situation and when you are putting yourself into the situation it means you are using the proper manners according to the situation and when you are using the manners it means you are going to create some ideas and when you are going to create some ideas it means your mind is able to think in English so these are the five basics to improve your spoken English skills and one thing when you follow all these five points to improve your spoken English skills all the time as a student, as a candidate, as a teacher, as a true professional, then definitely confidence will be sharp. Confidence will be developed among you. Five points, thinking, creativity, manner, situation, vocabulary is equal to confidence. Confidence doesn't come by watching a mirror all the time, doing practice in standing of the mirrors. Now, I definitely reject this idea. This would be beneficial at some extent, but not at all. Confidence can be developed by following these five points. And if anyone is using all these five points to improve his confidence, he can speak very well. He is the leader in spoken English. So, start from basic and go to the top. So, this is it for today and I hope, I'm really sure, this would be very beneficial for you. And definitely, you will try to learn, you will try to understand what I have spoken just now. Take care, goodbye and good luck. Thank you very much.